Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. If I was talking to Colin Noir, Dana Loesch, or anyone who works for the NRA and they have good people working for them, I would say, please, guys, if you really, really believe in the Second Amendment, you believe in the Constitution, if you see what's going on, <laughs> you have to jump ship. This is the time right now because the, the, the NRA cannot be bigger than the Second Amendment. So um, so here's this is something we could probably discuss here for, for a few minutes, the NRA's involvement. Lee uh, Nakasone, uh, hopefully I pronounced your name properly, Lee, says, NRA has been incredibly disappointing over this, um, that I'm diverting all my monetary support to GOA. Also, I would love to hear Colin Noir's thoughts on this announcement. Uh, well, he's in between a rock and a hard place. So Yes, he is. If you come out tubing, you won't be on the won't be on the cheese no more so <laughs> yeah um <laughs> but he might not be on the cheese anymore pretty soon anyways because they might ditch all that stuff i yeah, wouldn't be surprised I, if, you know that the nr because well, okay so here here's the thing with the nra i don't i do not think in any ways that the nra deserves any of our support i right now don't even want to go to the nra annual meeting that's coming up this year I always go to that because I want to see people. I want to see the people out there going to SHOT Show. Um, you know, you do not really get in touch with the people that are supporting us. The folks like you out there, I don't get to actually see them. I think between now and then, maybe we need to come up with alternatives for that because I don't, I don't, I do not want to go to the NRA show. I don't want to do anything to support the NRA anymore. I think they need to be completely choked off that may lead to a bunch of things being shut down that the nra is doing that's okay i think in the case of colio noir he's an employee there and he has a contract that's wow. probably more you know airtight than whatever contract anyone else out there has with their employer right hmm. so i think that that's going to stop him maybe from getting out there and saying what he has to say i don't know i don't know what his mind is you guys can ask him what's on his mind um, I know that I follow him like lots of people do out there, and he's he's been inundated with this stuff. Um, I, I, I see there's a lot of pressure and stress that he's dealing with because of it. The, Go ahead. The, yeah, a little bit. The Anku, I hate it. The Anku, 80% uh -huh. nunchucks. That's what I was laughing about. 80% <laughs> nunchucks? Okay, so you can build your own in New York City. <laughs> yeah. here, here is two sticks and a piece Gotta of rope. Get some string. Yeah. yeah, how do they even divide, like... Like define nunchucks in New York City. That's interesting. Well, I'm sure they have. They sure they had lawyers spend hours and hundreds of thousands of dollars figuring out what nunchucks. Yeah. Are. What if I took a piece of rope and tied two water full water bottles together? Is that a nunchuck? Nunchucks. But it's yeah. it's legal now in New York City. I want to see you work them. I want to see you do those things. Woo woo woo. Yeah. So, so to get back to this NRA thing, let's hear from from Walter and Trey. Trey, what do you think about the NRA situation? How do you um, feel about the NRA now? Uh, I'm not uh, feeling. I have okay. I haven't felt real happy about them for a while, so yeah. Okay, so Trey, let's let's start with Trey Walter. Sorry. I mean, I honestly, I I deal with the uh, the training guys more. I still don't have a problem with the training department. They're great guys. I don't deal deal with the political arm as much, and uh, I, I still want to do some more research on how much involvement they have. And I'm just saying that because I haven't finished doing it myself. But if, if it is the case that they did 100% force that or open up the door for that ban, yeah, I'm not real pleased with them right now. We'll put it that way. And, and I do support the GOA also. You know, we have the second largest uh, convention center in the nation in Orlando. Maybe the GOA should put on their own uh, convention. Yes. Um, so on that on that point, uh, Trey, before Walter, before you jump in here. Um, so Mike Bryant just sent me this. He says, GOA just announced via Facebook Live. That they're moving forward with a lawsuit. Tim Harmson of Military Arms Channel is one of the plaintiffs. Um, GOA okay. has posted a link to directly support the fight. So, donations, uh, and there's donations, uh, donations, yeah, donations. Yeah, that is. We, we need to support. We need to support these kinds of efforts because we can't just like get mad um, at the NRA or the people who work for the NRA. Um, you know, who are employees yeah. of the NRA. Go ahead, Walter. I, you know, like. Like Trey was saying, the guys that are doing the, the local guys and stuff like that, no problem with those guys because and the instructors and stuff like that because they're doing what they do. They're not involved mm -hmm. with the political part of it. Um, but all I see is that big setup at the shot show with the mm -hmm. with the with the monitors running and all that bullshit and 
Mm -hmm. Stand and stand and fight. Stand and fight for what? Your parking spot out front? I mean, I don't know. What what are you standing and fighting for? Mm -hmm. Only fighting for stuff that you get that you get airtime on TV about. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, you're are you fighting for all these other little things going on? Uh, I don't I don't know. You know, I don't I don't I don't want to see banners. I don't want to see um, spend that money fighting in the courts and doing lawyer mm -hmm. stuff. Um, not not on on all this uh, you know t acting tough, beating your chest, you know, stuff you know the little the things that come up on Facebook and all that. Hey, there, there you go. You're, you're giving money to Facebook to advertise when mm -hmm. when they're the people that are against you. You know, yeah. mm -hmm. the people that run Facebook, the people that run YouTube, all these other things, they're all the anti-gunners, you know. So they gladly take your money. You can advertise. Sure, I'll take your $100,000. Sure. <laughs> and I'll hand it back out to the to the little turds with their little T-shirts on and their, and their posters running around, you know, wanting to ban stuff. Um, yeah. Yeah. So Mike Bryant says that there's a link, which I just went and found while Walter was talking there. I'm going to throw it up here. There's a link to help the GOA uh, push back against this. So I just put that link in all our different chats here. And I also included it in the uh, description of this video. That's probably going to get us in trouble with you with YouTube, but whatevs. <laughs> oh, oh, man. I thought I was you, you, on the kind of the same subject, getting in trouble with YouTube, that uh, float from that British parade where the with the with the with the the prime minister with a gun in the mouth that was marked Islam, you saw that you liked it. Yeah, I saw that. Yes, yes. I shared that. Flow. You know, mm -hmm. I shared that. I think lots of other people shared that too, and that had to really get some people going at uh, YouTube. Um, yeah, uh, Facebook, <laughs> Facebook. Oh, well, I, I yeah, okay. Right, you were That's sharing true. that on Facebook. Yeah, right? I shared on yeah. Facebook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, I think Razor JB is saying that he doesn't quite believe that the GOA is fighting back or whatever. So I'm trying to I'm trying to give everyone their voice here on this. He says uh, that's what they say they support in court. Show me the bills. Talk is all they do. That's what Razor JB is saying. Um, so I can tell you that that's not what they do. They do go out there and push back and file lawsuits and stuff like that. And in a lot of cases, the GOA and others have joined together and 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 put up a lawsuits to block things or push back on things. And then when they win, the NRA comes in and takes the credit. <laughs> yeah, they do their so, chest like, hey, we were here. You know, it's like, oh, yeah. Right, right, right. We also yeah. had the gentleman we were helping out too. Remember him, Hank? Yes, yeah, and we, we've had them on here. But here's the thing. Look, I'm not telling you to blindly believe. I don't believe in dogma. You know, we need to push back on every front that we possibly can before we decide to go home and start loading up the magazines and and getting ready for an all out well, uh, remember assault. That, remember here. too, also in your everyday life, when you when you do this or you look at this movie or watch that, try to figure out where your money's going when you're going to go see this um, or buy this performer's thing, and they're out there talking bad about guns and stuff. You're fi you're fueling the fire. You know, don't. If you know whatever these these country music ones that went out there talking bad about guns, don't listen to that crap. Don't put it on the radio. Don't listen to it. Don't buy the stuff because you're you're doing this. You're giving them money to to yeah, fight. Yeah, them. yeah. You know, um, that's the, and that's what those people understand when when their profits are down. That's what that's what companies understand and that's what performers. Yeah, they listen. Too. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so yeah. and listen, there's there's multiple checks and balances that we need here, right? Uh, 13C Gun Review says yes, the NRA claims tons of victories they did nothing on. Look, we definitely need to keep checks and balances on people. I don't believe it's like um, I was reading this article over the weekend about a mega church. Um, I believe it was a, a black mega church, but that has nothing to do with it. <laughs> there's a mega church I think in Georgia where the pastor bought his wife <laughs> like a yeah, 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 a Lamborghini. What, what, what did he buy her? <laughs> he bought her a Lamborghini uh, Urus. <laughs> so here's the thing. That's up to the congregation to keep track of what's going on over if there. If they're so foolish we, enough to hand that dude their, their tithing away. They need it. Oh, they yeah, you know, God, God said my wife needed a new car. So <laughs> kind of one. No, it's like, yeah. oh, well, you know, if you're you dumb enough to get it. going. Yeah. yeah. Go. So I think we get those thumbs ups. We yeah. need those thumbs ups. Um, I see armament. I see. Uh, I think it was armament and axes and and some other folks out there said that they uh, 
that I think Armament and Access says he gave uh, just gave GOA ten dollars towards the cause. Look, we need to push back in lots of different ways. We need to make we need to get on social media, do all that stuff that 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 we usually do, like getting in touch with uh, our representatives who are all on or either if they're not on winter break already, they're about to go on winter break. You know, they're trying to drop this stuff while we're all fighting about uh, the wall. Yeah and all other kinds of bullshit that's going on, you know, and holidays are going on. We need to push back on those people, let them know, get in touch with them through the social media that we have. Uh, you know, I could tell you one of the things, we do this show, this is what we do. We try to get people to, to realize what's going on, be able to voice their opinions on it, uh, uh, put it out there. We I post on social media all the time, other people do it. I know Mac is doing that. There's a bunch of other people, other uh, gun guys, that are out there doing that all the time. We have to just keep pushing. They have to hear our voice. The problem is that for some reason, I remember, what was that, Walter, 2013? Everyone was mad. Do you remember that? Remember the firearm again? Do you remember those days? Uh, um, Do you remember this whole thing that happened after the, the school shooting in Connecticut? Oh, oh well, yeah, I remember, the, I remember the SHOT Show being like, the first the opening the opening doors of the shot show people were on our booth and they bought everything we bought we brought i mean we we, we bring uppers to the show and and they just magically disappear sometimes and every, they were all gone like five minutes <laughs> i mean i'd never seen anything like it, it was like a feeding frenzy yeah um, and then so a year year or two later they're trying to sell it for the same price <laughs> well and so here's the problem we don't have that going on right now in America because right. that is not the that wasn't the solution then, and it's not the solution now. Now people did go out there and buy a bunch of guns and stuff like that, but also people got very vocal. One of the problems that happened is since then, all these platforms have have been creating ways to minimize the vocal people's voices on our side of the Second Amendment. That's been ha since then. Since that happened, YouTube, Facebook. All these things that exist have been thinking, yeah, we're gonna, we, we need to limit these guys' voices. Let's what, turn off Alex Jones. Let's turn off this one. Let's turn off that one. Right. You know, yeah. Yeah, exactly. And so what we need to do is we need to, we need to get fired up. This is not a time to go out there. I'm not telling you not to buy guns. If you can get deals and stuff like that, hey, oh, yeah. go ahead and do that. But here's the thing. You need to spend money investing on your ability to have those things in the future. This... This thing that we're talking about today should illustrate to you that there's not going to be grandfathering. So don't think you could just go out there and buy every gun and then tomorrow, a year from now, when they go up, oh, guess what? That's illegal. You'll be able to keep it. That's bullshit. You need to invest in that. Okay. The way to invest in that is get out there, make your voice heard, support the people who are who who are uh, getting up on a soapbox and talking about this. Support the organizations organizations plural and, and call that are these, back. Lo these local jehus that these mayors and all this stuff and they, they get up and scream they're gonna ban stuff they need to be called out i mean physically yeah. not i mean called out not like you know you know don't get physical i mean you don't end up in jail doing that silly shit like that but <laughs> you know not it's not worth going to jail at that point because of some bozo mayor but get up in their face and tell them hey who gives you the right to tell me what I can do? Mm -hmm. They Loser. need to hear us. Um, Randall LeBron says, Hank, I agree with you guys about boycotting the NRA. It's the first time we're going to SHOT Show and a new FFL holder in January. Yeah. Give me some wise words to say to an NRA rep when I come across one. Um, listen, here's the thing. Even like for the people, for folks like we were talking, someone asked us about Coleon Noir and there's Dana Loesch and those guys. Those guys are good they are good, in my opinion, they're good representatives for our cause as well. Don't go out there and try to destroy those people because they work for the NRA. Uh, what I would do, if I was talking to Colin Noir, Dana Loesch, or anyone who works for the NRA and they have good people working for them, I would say, please, guys, if you really, really believe in the Second Amendment, you believe in the Constitution, if you see what's going on, <laughs> you have to jump ship. This is the time right now because the, the, the NRA cannot be bigger than the Second Amendment, right? Yeah. This you, yes. we cannot allow the NRA or anything else to be bigger than the Second Amendment. Well, how is it that the, the how is it the NRA is also telling me what I can do? 
How, where do they, where do they cut off being the, the arbor? <laughs> I'll use an example. Al Sharpton, all these other um, black people that, that claim to be the representatives of black people, they don't speak for everybody. They don't no. speak for you. They don't speak, so where do they get off saying that shit? You know, they, I mean, they, right, they should right. never get off. They should stay the hell on whatever. Well, so how does the NRA get off saying what I what I need and what I don't need? You know, they I should mean, not. We we right. have allowed them to do that. And what they've done, we have given them trust and we've given them money and we've right. given them support and we've shared their stuff and all that. And we have to take that away. We have to. You know what? I, I mean, the thing is, we got to stop like following them. Like I even noticed that I still follow them on places. You know what? We should just stop following their asses. Well, when 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 100,000 people stop following them, they yeah, see okay. those. They see those numbers go. They'll get their attention. Yeah. I still unfortunately, well, up to this moment cuz I'm going to I just unfollowed them. You have to we we have they have to they've got to realize that we're pulling whatever ghetto pass it is, whatever second amendment pass that we gave them. We have to pull that. We've got to pull that from them. They have to feel the pain of that. Okay. It's, I would if, if if I was him, I and I, I, mean, I don't usually hang out at the NRA booth. I walk past the shot show and look up and go, "God damn, this must have cost a lot of money." <laughs> <laughs> because it did. Trust me, my little booth yeah. costs a lot of money. So, their big ginormous booth, two story thing with all the you know the monitors and all that stuff cost hundreds of thousands of dollars. Um, but just tell them, look, you know, if if, if you guys need to click your shit together, or or I'm gonna do it, like Max says. I'm going to do everything in my power to make you fail <laughs> or to shut you down. Or I whatever. Think at this point, at this point, we pull whatever support we've had for them. Yeah, That's I mean, what I think. I just, That's I just, what I think right now. I just got a, um, well, another thing you can do is I just got a new NRA magazine and uh, national rifleman in the American rifleman in the mail today. And you see the people advertising in there. Let these people know they're advertising there that, that you're not going to support them. If you keep, Supporting an organization that doesn't fight for the Second Amendment. Yeah, absolutely. That's a good idea, Walter. I mean, brilliant. Trust me, They'll it's not cheap. To, it's not, it, it, it no cheap to advertise that magazine. I know personally. Oh yeah. So oh, it's yeah. very expensive, uh, and so you know, if you see the if you see the Harbor Freight ad in there, tell the Harbor Freight guys, you know, you know, I, I'm not going to. We're Second Amendment guys. We don't like this. Yeah. They need to. They need to lose the support that right. they've gotten from us. They need to feel the pain. Are they going to 100% die? I'm going to tell you right now, they're no. not. They've gotten a lot of money from us. There's a lot of FUDs out there that are going to stay with them no matter what, that are going to get even more closer to them and all that kind of stuff. Right. That has to end. Um, and I'll tell you guys something. Anyone who does this, you have to stop supporting them. In my opinion, this is me. I'm not speaking for Walter or Trey or anyone else. But if Trump is going to do this, he's not going to get my support. That's you know, the bottom line of all this. Yeah, I, I can't. I can't bail on Trump right at the moment. So I understand. I get it. I'm just. I'm speaking for myself. Other, other things he's doing that are that are working. So well, then, but things something needs know, to happen where they hear our voice, and well, and Trump needs to hear our voice as well. I, he needs to hear that yeah. this is bullshit, and we're not going for I it. I wish there was a way he really would hear your voice. I don't know if there's a real way to actually. I mean, and you know, aside from I wish look, I wish there was, but unfortunately he's not getting the right people up there to work with him who are really loyal to him. He still has Republicans and 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 he has these all these rhinos that are in well, there with him that are giving him this bad advice. 